It's so angry. So I went to the NARBC St. Louis Expo and I took a bunch of footage. I saw a lot of really cool animals and people and I also ended up going home with some new additions. I wasn't really expecting on getting anything but I was gifted like three really cool animals. So let's go ahead and look at all the footage I got and then meet back here and I'll show you exactly what I came home with. And look who we have over here, Tarantula Cat, who's filming. Do we have the we have the exact same camera? Oh my god, twins! And look at this, we even put our microphone on that side. Cheers. Ting! <laughs> and Richard's over thing here. To watch. Remember like that time that I was supposed to go to the build-off and he went instead? <laughs> who do you think would have done better? Me or him? Oh, you're gonna have to do a head-to-head -head one of these times. We, we did, did, and, and guess who won? won? <laughs> like not by a little bit either. <laughs> Okay, all right. Adorable. If you want to make Ed stay, you'd love to hold her. She's a vicious, wild animal. Yeah. You talk about Ed? <laughs> yeah, she told him. Good girl. Good girl. J and B terrariums not vending today. No. <laughs> they had to be in the video because it's not an expo video without them. Right. Look at look at his sign. Like I love it. Doesn't it look so good? And, I mean, and my hornworm <laughs> dealer. My hornworm dealer. Yes! A steel worm back to me! It's yeah. legal now. <laughs> oh my god, it just looks like candy. Like everything looks so like good. I like this one too. You should get that one and get that one and then get that one. Okay? Just one. No, get just three. one. The ghost is a combination of the hypo and the anery visually expressing or showing both of those things oh, together. Oh, okay. See how much darker he was than the ghost? So this guy is just a straight anery. Okay, yeah, because ours looks like that. A little that. bit cleaner. Ours looks more like that, yeah. Because you're incorporating the hypo gene. I love that orange one. And I love this little guy, this little rat snake. I wish I had room for more snakes. Mr. Tarantula Cat. Yes. What are you looking at? Stuff and things and things and stuff. Wow. Yeah. Specifically things and stuff? Things and stuff. Okay. A little more things, a little less stuff. Okay. I stand buy her sometimes, but can't really stand her. This is the cool kids booth. We have Tropical World Pets. Are you vending under that? No. Yes. Wow, that's a cute dog. Where did you get that? I'm scared of tarantulas. I don't I don't want to get too close. No, I'm scared. Do they bite? Yeah, they, they do. They, they have teeth. Anything are they poisonous? They, they're venomous. They're poisonous? Yes. If I eat it, what happens? <laughs> Nothing. A lot of people eat them. I ate a gummy worm. We uh, know. Did you? did not. I did not realize. No, but everybody thinks you did. I have a female of this. That I have a female of that that you gave me. Mm -hmm. And then I have a female of that. Ooh. It's all the scientific names. I don't know what anything is. Hi, what's your name? Amy from Fang Hub. Nice. How's the show going? It's going pretty good. It's, it's a nice show. There's some good foot traffic. Awesome. Stop. It's, How venomous is this? They're pretty venomous. I mean, they're Asian, like they're centipedes. It's cool. I'm kind of scared of it. How big does it get? Um, about six ish inches. It matches your nails. I know, isn't that cool? That's pretty crazy. I didn't do that on purpose. So this is a gift for me? Yes. Oh my god, thank you Amy from Fang Hub Tarantulas. Use cat code CAT10 to save 10% on our website anytime. <laughs> Show me your wares. One of my favorites, right there. Ah, the blue. Yep. Fancy, fancy. Everybody has the other ones. But yeah, I have the other one, but not that one. Right. What are these beetles? Fading duck. Why? No, not those. These. Those are the same thing? 
a different kind. Can they go and live with the blue ones? Uh, I haven't heard of anybody mixing them, but yeah, I was going to say, I don't see. Because Fiona has those blue ones, and that would be cool to put in with them, but I don't know. Oh, hi! <laughs> cat? Cat. Hi. Cat with a C, cat with a K. Yeah. Oh, you want to sign language? It's in Habitats. They're here. Look at this little guy. Do you want to show me the mantis? Oh, you might be there for a while. Hey, how are you? <laughs> this is our adult female Deroplatus desiccata, which is a type of dead leaf mantis. Awesome. Don't you have a channel too? Yes, we do. What's your channel? Our channel is Luke's Bug Adventures. Right on. Yeah. When I got up for because I said we showed oh. Richard this. This is so, our adult so female. First generation of captive bred dragon mantis. Wow, that's crazy. And you breed these? Yes. Oh, and then Nikki, yeah, she's 12 people weeks old. Like, she just got it. Yeah. What's her name? Tulip. I she's can't pick one. <laughs> she's a golden? I don't know which one they we have a golden doodle at home. Um, because I have allergies. Yeah, so the yeah. doodle is like perfect. Does yeah, she shed? Uh, no, yeah, not, not at all. Tulip! Okay. They're here somewhere. We've got a couple different species. A lot of huntsmen's, wandering spiders. Yeah. Over here. The here they are. Yeah, I've got i got the Egyptian wolves. Uh, I just got the, the, the Egyptian. Ooh, I do have the that? white the white banded fishing spider. That's pretty cool. I got cool. a lot of weird spiders in right now. Yeah, that's a cool one. Okay. I got this one, the red fang wandering spider. Look at oh, that. Oh god. How, how vicious is that look? Yeah. That's, that's a scary crazy. looking look at a crazy scary face. Wow. I've, I've got this one, another really odd one. This, this is the, called the blue femur wandering spider. It's oh got, wow. Like, blue legs. That's so crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. I've never seen those. Howdy, how are you? Good, how are you? What are you filming today? Everything? Yeah, pretty much. Just looking around. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, you got good anything you. cool to show me? Um, so I've been showing people the Versi colors lately, um, just because they're nice size and they're one of the best uh, like beginner species that we have with us today. Yeah. But yeah, these guys are super cool. And they're showing their, they're starting to show some of their purples. Aww. Yeah, you can see some of the purples coming out on this one. Um, but yeah, the Versi colors are awesome. Yeah, I love those. But yeah, they're really cool. Yes. So we do have some other cool rare species. We do have the Saba Blue with us. Oh, um, this cool. one is in its burrow, so we, we can't take it out. Yeah, I can't pull it out. But um, we did bring some Mexican Jade Fuegos with us with the Afona Pomo Murray. Oh, you sleeps. did? Yeah, so we do have some. So this is the adult picture. Uh, they don't really have colors, babies, but yeah. yeah, they are little tiny slings. See, we found one for you guys. Yeah, he's just right in there. Oh wow, super small. Yeah, so tiny. Oh my god. Yeah, he's going everywhere. So fast. That's a lot. That's yeah. an expensive tarantula yeah. to be moving so fast. We have a very wide range of things with us today. We do have some adult green bottle blues, some other things. Right on. Oh cool. Awesome, what kind is that? It's a Lily White and Xanthic. So yeah, we're the fourth person in the world to produce one. It's a recessive and a dominant trait put together. So it's an Xanthic yeah. with the white out gene, like a Lily White put into the Xanthic gene to specialize in these orange lilies. Oh wow, yeah, I know that, I don't really know too much about them, but I know the Lily Whites are like a big deal. Yeah, so it's a white out gene, it's kind of like a Merle. What we've created is an orange one, so the orange overlays the white out gene. That's awesome. And I'm working, I'm working that into the Enzanthic. Typically, Enzanthic doesn't allow any colors to come through except for black and white, but on this one we have uh, yellow tints that ride on the white out gene, and this orange rides on the white out gene as well, so I'm working that orange into having an orange tint on there instead of yellow.
Okay, so welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into the new additions because I actually came home with three really cool animals and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So of course, one of the first things you saw was Amy giving me this Scolopendra species Malaysian Jewel, the Highland Jewel. Okay, this is like a $275 centipede and it's just a baby, so I can't even imagine how much the adults actually cost. So it actually burrows and is really hard to find. It did eat two crickets. A couple days ago, I put two crickets in there and the crickets both disappeared. So I know that it's in there and I know that it's eating. And I actually dug around last night just because I hadn't seen it and I wanted to make sure it was still alive, which it is. I do have a couple centipedes. I still have both of those purple centipedes that Tom sent me and I really love them. I just unfortunately don't see them much, but I thought we could go ahead and do an update video on them and I will rehouse this one. The next animal that I came home with was from a friend of mine named Jessica. It is a different Phytopus species than one I've ever kept, the Phytopus mystaceus. I've never heard of this, ever. It came in this really, really, really good enclosure. It's like perfect. And if you see like that black dot on the top, that is it. It's so angry. But yeah, I'm really happy to have like a new species. I've never even really heard of this species before, but with Phytopus, it's usually if you've kept one, you, you've, you're pretty okay with keeping them all. Really cool enclosure. And thank you again, Jess, for this. I'm really stoked to see what it looks like as it grows. And one more thing I came home with, also from Amy at Fang Hub Tarantulas. Uh, I just happen to have a female of this and I think she just was trying to get rid of him. So this is a mature male Toledo Cattle Albulosis, the curly hair tarantula. This is the Nicaraguan the wild form, the more wild form. And I have Bear, who is for sure a female, freshly molted, might I add, and ready to go. So uh, I got this mature male. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's so fluffy. He's absolutely just like beautiful. So hopefully we will get some babies out of this and it would be really awesome. I hear that they have lots of babies. I'm not really sure where the babies will go. I mean, I, I will probably, I, I have an idea, but if I am successful, that would be great because um, I'd be happy to supply you guys with some curly hairs, um, especially this kind, because I really like this kind. There's the hobby form, and then there's this uh, more wild form, and personally, I'm a big fan of the more wild form looking ones, because they're extra fuzzy, um, but they can be a little bit more spicy, so. Um, anyway, that that was, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm an Instagram, it is probably way too much, it's at cat. you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, it is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet Thanks.